reimagining the first abolitionist newspaper in the United States, The Emancipator. And we're doing this to restart and reconfigure the conversation on racial justice and equity. The Emancipator was the first abolitionist newspaper ever published in the United States, and it was created by an East Tennessean named Elihu Embry. Well, this week, it will be relaunched and reimagined in Boston, Massachusetts. Boston News reporter Jacinta Render spoke to the co-editors in chief of the reimagined newspaper about how they plan to educate readers about today's racial injustices. Jacinta. This weekend marks 202 years of The Emancipator. The two women who are a part of resurrecting this historical publication say there are still more stories to tell about how white supremacy continues to impact everyone in America. And what was so wonderful about The Original Emancipator is that it uh, called for an unequivocally the end of black enslavement. Amber Payne and Deborah Douglas, co-editors-in-chief, say relaunching The Emancipator gives them a chance to dig deeper and tell stories about today's racial injustices. And we think that if we can host the conversation, a dialogue to help people understand how one thing is connected to the other thing that's connected to the other thing, we can help people make better decisions about how they show up in democracy. Historian Ann Mason says the original publication was published from month to month for readers in the North and South. She describes it as prophetic because it was written before the Civil War. She says Embry knew if slavery did not end soon, many lives were going to be lost. And he was pretty much like, listen, if we don't solve this issue now, there's going to be a war and it's going to be devastating. Payne and Douglas believe America has come a long way, but there is still much to learn. The Emancipator just launched with a series on the black wealth gap and how we can solve it. But in that series, we address the fact that that wealth gap has had a significant impact just on the country's financial health. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Render. The Emancipator relaunched in collaboration with Boston University's Center for Anti-Racist Research and the Boston Globe's opinion team. Beth, Robin. All right, Jacinta, thank you.